and there's a missile turret being built on the back, so that's going to be delightful. <laughs> a delightful conundrum. Although I think the DT can probably get in and kill that missile turret without taking fire off the planetary fortress. I don't think it's got the range. Yeah, ooh. Oh, can he? This is the question. This is the question. I think he can, but whatever. We've got medevacs filling up with units now. We've got four marauders. It looks like it's going to... Well, it's definitely going to do a drop and see if he can damage the... Uh, well, I'd go straight for the pylons, maybe, or critical tech buildings like the uh, Twilight Council. Take that out. I'd, Does I'd have a like Colossus see, out now. Yeah, I'd like to see him take out the tech buildings, really, but they're not really placed in a very accessible area even by a drop you've got to either fly directly over the entire base or shift yourself over the expansion which is going to be a bit tricky for the lad yeah um but he does have the medevacs now which are going to help out when he spams t for the old stim <laughs> it's the only key you need is terran yeah <laughs> just keep spamming it but you get a bit carried away and your lads will die oh dear <laughs> we've got a drop going off now so he's going to kill i don't what did he kill there he worked on a pylon he's not actually killed anything zealots are walking in. he's killed one pylon and uh, he's evacuated and he's away which is uh, it makes sense because we've got well we've got double armor upgrades on the uh, ground units for volcanics we've only got the single attack upgrade for tg um yeah you could do with could do with researching a few more but he seems to be going for wave numbers instead because i believe that's another reactor going down somewhere <laughs> i mean it oh it looks like he's moving down now volcanis is going to move into the center with this army and he's going to be caught a bit oh he's going straight in there he's, uh whoa, he, there's a medevac full of marauders there that's not too clever oh, no. yeah he definitely oh, loads needs to pull back loads of dts are chopping through the marauders the dts are actually quite a good counter here <laughs> they do a ton yeah. of damage Forced we him all the way back to his base, TG. Yeah, we've got a starport with a reactor, but we've still got no Raven, so we've got a warp got... prism in the back of TG's base now, just chilling out over the thing. He's gonna, st I'd imagine he's gonna walk DTs in and just harass the shite out of him. It's gonna be a pain up the ass for TG to deal with. This is, if they ever come, they're just sitting waiting. That medevac is still full of units. Is he gonna drop them? It's in the red. <laughs> Go on, TG, get the marauders out. Yeah, I love it. So the marauders are dropping down. He's got central map control. Volcanis has. Um, TG's got a lot of mineral though. Maybe he's got debts he's got to pay. He's got a load of energy as well on that orbital command, on that orbital command as well. Uh, so yeah. both orbitals. Uh, looks like we have got DTs warping him around the back, and I don't think he can see these on the vision though. He can't see them at all. He doesn't know they're in his base. Uh, what's he going to go for? Oh, nice. Killed the SCV building the command center. Working on the SCVs in the main. This is going to force him to do something with his units. He's moving back. Only two marauders is moving back. Killing the, the units and the marines and that as they come out of the barracks, which is always a pain up the ass. Scan goes down. That I think his days are over. That one uh, DT there. A couple of SCVs could have mug mugged him as he walked past them as well. He's just not brought enough units, so we can't take a DT out with like two marauders and one scan. They're going to get out of range day quickly. Yeah. Well, he's got two more marauders. He's going to lose there needlessly. I think he's going to lose a second before them other. Mar oh, he could have actually have just killed that marauder there because that DT was dead anyway. Yeah. He was a bit of a coward and tried to run away that DT, so he deserved to get killed. Got another DT going down. He's going to see this missile turret being controlled. Oh, sensor tower, actually. Mm, I like sensor tower. Really. Don't see enough of the sensor tower. Finally got a raven. Finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the so he's going to be able to pick up when the uh, units walked in. He would have seen that um, warp prism now at the back of his base. Is he going to do anything about it, though? He knows it's there. Highlighted red on his mini-map. Surely he's... He's got Vikings, he could go over there and deal with it. The DT could have took out the sensor tower to be a right pain in the ass. I know I keep saying it, but they are the pains in the ass. More stim coming in from the Marauders, they're going to wipe out that DT. No, he's just got away. But there is a lot of energy on the orbital commands. I can only imagine he saved the energy for scans. He yeah. does have a load of mineral load. I mean, his income is massive. Well, his, inc his income isn't massive, but he has like 2,600 mineral in the bank. Size storms on the way as well for Volcanis. We I think TG just he needs to move out or do something. He's just stagnating in his base. Yeah, he, he's he's actually done another drop again in the same position. He's took out an, another pylon, but he's kind of attacking two warp gates. You know, a bit of indecision. It's kind of a pointless drop, really. Um, I suppose it keeps Volcanis on his toes though, and it has actually yeah. caused him to move all of his army, which is a bit of an overreaction. 
But then again, he's not to know what was actually coming out that way. The Vikings have moved over and taken out the Warp Prism as well. But there's still his one DT on the ground there. And I don't think TG knows that's there. Um, so maybe that could come in later on. Yeah, Good thing TG's is to got... usually send the DTs in as you're in a, a major engagement. Because, you know, just send them on an attack move. I think TG also he needs to sort this command centre out. Because it's been sat at 94% <laughs> in fact. Ever since that three SCB was command killed. centers there. The front of his base, they're all going to get taken out. Is he going to cancel them? I don't think he's focusing on that. Psy Storm all over his units as well. Zealots running into the Psy Storm because they don't care about bad weather. The, uh, the, the Colossus are just chopping through. It's absolutely sick and in loads of losses for TG. This could be the end of TG. Yeah. It's he's going to. Oh, well, I mean, he's lost his standing army. Psy Storm again all over his units. Loads of damage. Colossus, the size storm, basically the perfect count to what TG was fielding. The DTs are running through the SCVs off the line. There's a single Marauder hiding in a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> got all the SCVs fixing it up. Oh, yeah. Got an Archon coming the on. Marauders and another one. The oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this looks like it's all gone bad for TG. I mean, so I don't, I don't expect to see GG anytime soon. Yeah, he didn't change what he was doing. He didn't react to the different technology that was coming out. He, he just sat around, which is, I don't know, maybe maybe he had a grand plan, but we'll never know. We'll never know, because Volcanis has come in and totally wrecked everything. Yeah, Volcanis definitely played a more solid game. Obviously, uh, as outlined by the win. Raven in the middle is um, just chilling out. But yeah, I mean, this is this is GG now. All these, I mean, there's a lot of Marauders waiting there, but they're not going to be able to do anything. He's stinged all of them before they They're just getting Come wiped on, out. Psy Storm all over them. I think one of these, what's the weapon? Thermal Lance. How could I forget that? What an insane name. The Thermal Lance wipes them away. Gone. Bin. Game over. Oh. GG. Come on. Come on, TG. Give us the GG. I don't believe it. Ah, sickening. Somebody, somebody should name at like a university the Ghost Academy. It'd be amazing. The university should go to <laughs> the Ghost Academy. <laughs> What's he doing with this medevac? Come on, give it up, TG. You've lost. You've lost, son. I'm sorry, but you've lost. He, he can't. He doesn't accept defeat, bloke, until he's got nothing left. <laughs> and even then, he'll try and kill him with a mouse pointer. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill your boy. Send a yeah. single SUV in. Drilling hand. Drilling hand. <laughs> Planning back pocket. <laughs> Answers nowhere. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> So yeah, we're still waiting for the GG to come in. The Archons are just... Oh, that Archon there, I don't know what his game is. He's going to be sent away. Goodbye. Absolutely. More terrible. reinforcements oh, coming in. There's the GG. About time. And uh, so it looks like the win goes to Volcanis, who is from um, Aberdeen University. So he's, he's from Aberdeen, Aberdeen yeah, this time. He, uh, yeah, well, he's not from Edinburgh, so I guess he's from Aberdeen. <laughs> love it. If he's not, hate me in the comments, because I, I love hateful comments. Um, so check out unitloss.com. Check out all the UK UTL links. Click on every link in the description. Get on our Twitter. Get on Total Biscuits Twitter. Get on the UK UTL Twitter as well, specifically. And uh, we'll catch you next time, people. Toodle-loo-loo. -loo.